Hey folks, welcome to another Triple T Thursday. For those just joining us, that's tools, tips, and talk where we'll discuss info for the knife maker. In today's episode, I'm going to review a tool that I've wanted for a long time. Uh, I'm sure you guys are like me. You go through drill bits like crazy. Um, I always keep like the standard sizes. I always keep an extra couple of drill bits in my tool drawer. There's that always non-standard size that I just happen to need. It goes dull. It's never at a convenient time. So let's review the Vivor drill bit sharpener uh, and see how you can prevent running out of drill bits. Let's go take a look. So here is the Vivor sharpener. Uh, it came with um, the sharpener itself, a whole bunch of collets uh, that we'll use for different size drill bits. It came with an instruction manual, which is okay. <laughs> And uh, it came with an extra uh, diamond grinding wheel, which is very cool. Uh, and of course, the, um, the uh, chuck, call it, holder. Um, the first thing I was impressed at is that it is a very heavy um, tool. Uh, I like heavy, sturdy tools. This one is over 10 pounds. It probably feels like it's like... 12 or 15 pounds, maybe even 20. Um, it's a really heavy piece of machinery, which I like. Um, it's got a big motor inside, uh, which turns this wheel, which is in there. And um, yeah, so overall, impressed by the, um, destruction, the construction of this thing. So let's get into how to sharpen a drill bit. So I read the manual on this and um, kind of, you know, got the gist of how to do it and then I practice on a few bits it's very very simple I would say it's almost foolproof um, so I'm gonna take you through sharpening a bit and then we'll do a test so I sharpen most of these except for this one so what you do is go in here and I usually just start with um, like a collet that I know is too small Okay, and then I'll just keep going until I find one. So it's probably this one. So you want it um, so that it'll fit, and it should move a little bit. If I take this one, okay, it's okay. It's it's really really tight in this one. So I'm going to use this guy. Okay, so what you do is the collet. Sorry, the collet goes in like this and it will drop into so the narrow part of the collet is going to go in here and this thing should just move slightly then you put the call the end of the chuck here just put it on loosely this whoops this should still move in and out I can close this up. Oh, remember, it's got these are all numbered. You need to remember this number. So the first part of the number, this is the six seven, call it. You set the diameter to six, which is the first digit. So I just set this to six. What that's actually doing is kind of setting the depth of this, this little thing here. So when I put this in, and I can push on the back of this just to make sure it's up and snug. Okay, and turn this so everything's tight. And then you can tighten this down. Okay, so now this shouldn't move. And now it's at the perfect depth for sharpening so that you're not taking too much off. Um, and it's just set up correctly. So now we're going to move over to this part. And I'm not going to turn it on right now. I'm basically going to show you without it turned on so it's it's hard to notice here but this is actually at a bit of an angle and then you'll notice that the chuck here has got some flat sides and that's important because you'll notice there's flat sides here so it goes in like this and it kind of goes in at an angle it it takes a little playing with it when you first do it but You'll push it in, and it's going to start grinding on the stone, obviously, when it's on. And you'll notice that it kind of turns. So that's going to turn that 
that bevel on the drill against the sharpening system. And then you're just going to push this in gently until it stops making sounds. And then you're going to pull this out, flip it over, okay, and that's going to do the other facet on the drill. That's really the basic operation of putting the right, um, the right bevel angles on the drill. Down here, there is the um, setting of the angle here. I've got it set at your standard 118, uh, but you can increase it from 140 all the way down to 90 degrees, depending on what kind of angle you want on your drill. After this operation is complete, you move up to the top here and it's got some pins and you can move these pins around. And what this is for is to um, <clears throat> kind of what's, what's called splitting the point here. Uh, so the point of this drill, when you first do this, it'll kind of, there'll be a line at the top. And if you try to drill with this, it'll really walk a lot. So what this does is it just puts a little relief on either side of the front of the bevel, um, sorry, the back of the bevel, and it, it kind of splits that point. So it, it basically puts a very distinct point at the front, uh, at the top of the drill bit, so that it won't walk around. And this, these pins, the more you move them to the left, will widen that relief area. And for certain applications, maybe you want um, a wide one. I've got it at the minimum, so really just kind of splits the point and that's all. So let's turn it on and uh, I'll show you how easy it is to uh, grind this drill bit. Okay, so it's not even that loud. And this doesn't matter where it's set at. I'm just gonna put it flat. Okay, and then gently push it in as I'm spinning it. And eventually it'll stop grinding. I'll pull it out and then back in. It is quick as that. There is our our face of the drill. Okay, you may not be able to see it on the camera, but it definitely does not have a, a an exact point to it. So I'm not going to drop it down, and these two. I'm going to turn this around so you guys can see it. Okay, I'm going to drop this down like this, gently. and just back and forth. Again, rotate it. And now that all that's all there is to it. And you can see there's a little bit of relief on the back here. And the point is split now. Okay, let's give it a shot. Let's go drill something. Okay, so here we are at the drill press. I've got a piece of aluminum and a piece of mild steel. So let's give it a shot, see how well we do here. Okay, so it's not actually cutting that well um, on the aluminum. So I'm not sure if it's a setting that I have, but it, it is, the point is just not grabbing here. So let's go check out what we did wrong. So I think I figured out what happened. I went back and read the instructions and really it comes down to this dial. You need to turn this dial clockwise until it stops and then go to your number. I think what has happened is I, the last drill bit I sharpened was a bigger one. So by me just going to the next one, or sorry, a smaller one, it, um, it just didn't go deep enough in. And that's why you need to reset the dial every time. So I've resharpened the bit. I've um, split the point again. Let's go give it a shot. Okay, let's try it again. I'm going to try a whole different hole this time just so I can see how it starts from zero. 
Okay, there we go. Now it's drilling like a brand new drill. Very nice. Oh yeah, it's just breezing through the aluminum. Very nice, very clean hole. Okay, let's try it on some steel. Okay, cuts very nicely. I'm getting a very easy hole here. Obviously, I should be using a little lube. And one thing you can tell here is because I'm getting spirals, you know the flutes are even on both sides. If I wasn't um, getting a spiral and I was just getting chips, usually that means these flutes are uneven. One is cutting and the next one is severing it. So it's really good that you're getting spirals. So far, I think this is really good. I mean, I'm, this is like this bit was brand new. So I'm quite happy with this. Um, uh, with this drill bit sharpener it works really well and it's super easy uh, just the the user error on resetting the dial which was my fault um, but uh, that's one that you need to make sure you do and turn it all the way um, clockwise till it stops and then go to your number uh, the collet's really uh, solid here and to get uh, to get this little collet out you just push it and uh, comes out I love that there's a little carrying area for this and it gives you a little allen keys uh, for doing things like resetting uh, the sizes here these little pins you can either just pick up with your fingers or use little needle nose pliers and move them along if you want uh, a larger uh, uh, point splitting area this dial uh, i have no idea what this does it's got a u and a d and some numbers on it there's nothing in the instructions about this uh, it does not turn well at all. Like, I really can't turn it with um, my fingers. So, I'm not really sure what that does. Um, so, I'm not sure if I need it, but I'll have to figure out. Maybe someone knows what that's for. But otherwise, um, yeah, and you can also um, open it up. You can change the wheel really easily. Um, so, overall, I'm really happy with this machine. Uh, definitely sharpen the drill bits up to almost new. Uh, this machine retails at just under $270, so a bit more expensive than others um, that I've seen, but the sturdiness, uh, I like the fact that it's got collets instead of just a Jacobs chuck. Uh, these will hold the drill bits much sturdier um, and just a really nice design to have collets here. Uh, so overall, I like the machine. I'm really happy to have it. Like I said, uh, it, it's never a really opportune time when I dull a drill bit and I need one. So uh, it's nice to have this machine to be able to, to sharpen them whenever I want. So go check these out. There's links down in the description for, um, um, for a discount. Uh, go check them out and um, yeah, go sharpen your drill bits. Thanks guys. We'll see you on the next one.